kids miss kaylee here and we are on our third and final week of our wait for it series and remember last week we talked about john the baptist and how he prepared the way for the coming savior jesus and this week we're actually going to talk about jesus's mom mary and before jesus had even come to earth god sent mary an angel named Gabriel. And Gabriel came to kind of prepare Mary for what's to come. Gabriel tells her, Mary, you're going to have a son. You're going to name him Jesus. And he is going to be called the son of God. And as you can guess, Mary was probably pretty confused, right? She, she was questioning Gabriel. She didn't understand how this was possible. And Gabriel actually, this is what makes this story pretty amazing, is Gabriel reminds her of something that God did in the past that seemed impossible. Elizabeth, Mary's relative, had, it was pregnant with a baby. She was currently pregnant with a baby in her old age when it just seemed impossible to everyone. And so that kind of put Mary's mind at ease. Yeah, that was impossible. And now something to me is going to happen that seems impossible. And she actually says, I am your servant. May your word be fulfilled. That's pretty amazing. And that kind of leads us to our big idea this week, which is wait and see. God will do impossible things. And that's exactly what he does in this story. And I can't wait for you guys to learn more about that this week. See you soon. So I have this huge, cool surprise that I want to share with you cool guys and gals. I'm in a crazy mood today, and I'm excited to show you this project I've been working on all week. So, have you guys ever heard of the Guinness Book of World Records? So, in this book, they have the most wildest things that people did that seem impossible to do. In it, there are skateboarding dogs. Yes, skateboarding dogs. The world's largest pizza. Can you imagine that? A pizza bigger than a house? Yes, it's not impossible. It actually exists. Friends, there's even a record of the tallest sand castle ever made. I want to build one of those. I read it's about as tall as three giraffes. There are so many cool things that people did that seem impossible, but they did it. So I thought to myself, Kelly, you're pretty cool, right? And your fans think you're pretty awesome too. Why not try one of these impossible projects? So I did. Are you ready for the challenge? I think you are. I will attempt to solve this Rubik's Cube in record time. Think I can? I will try right after today's Bible story. It's time for our Bible story. Today we will hear about a very special story. We will learn about an angel named Gabriel. God sent Gabriel to Nazareth to meet a woman named Mary. Mary was about to be married to a man named Joseph. And Gabriel greeted Mary and said, God has blessed you in a special way. God is with you. But Mary was worried. It's not every day an angel pops up and says that. Absolutely. Gabriel knew that she was worried. He said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You are going to have a baby and you will call him Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. But Mary was confused because she wasn't even married. How could that happen? So then how could she have a baby? Well, God has the power to make it happen. God used the angel to tell Mary that a miracle would happen, but she would have to wait and see how it would happen. God through Gabriel told her, whatever God says will come true. When Mary heard this, she relaxed and promised to serve God. And did it happen like the angel said? You bet it did. Jesus was born even though it was impossible. But that was just the beginning. God was planning and doing even more impossible things through Jesus. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy, folks. Well, I'll 
let you in on a little secret. I asked my dad to help me. I had been trying it on my own for so long, but I just couldn't wait anymore. I know I didn't do it all by myself, but I'm still gonna call it a win. It's tough waiting sometimes, but it's easier when we know God can do anything. That's what the angel was telling Mary to do. Wait and see. God will do impossible things. Gotta run, friends. Catch you next time on the most left flag ever, where we break records and grow. Yeah! Micah 7-7. Seven, seven. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. <gasps> wow. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Hey, y'all. I'm so glad y'all are here today. Today, I'm doing something very special, something extraordinary. Today, I will do the impossible. You see, there are many things in my life that people say straight to my face are impossible. So then I say, who are you? And what are you doing in my house? So today, we'll be attempting five impossible tasks and prove all the naysayers wrong. Here we go. Number one impossible task, lick your elbow. Apparently this is impossible, but let's see. Okay, it's a lot further than I imagined, so. <laughs> Did it. Number two impossible task, telepathy. You see, telepathy is the art of sending messages from one person's brain to the other without saying anything. So what I want you to do, kiddos, is think of an animal inside your brain. Think of one animal inside your brain, say really loud inside there so I can, I can, I can hear it in my own brain, all right? All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, it's something hairy. With a lot of tea. Mmm. Whoever's thinking of a mushy banana, please stop. Ah! Ugh. A Norwegian red tail armadillo. Boom, got it. You're welcome, Tyler. Number three impossible task. Travel at the speed of light. They think I can't do this one? <laughs> Watch this. Did you see it? I went to Kansas and back. I'll do it again. I just ran from Baja, California. It's beautiful. Number four impossible task. Sneeze with my eyes open. Now this one's gonna be tough. Ready? <coughs> Ha! Wow! I did it! Why does my head hurt? Number five, time travel. Wait, I don't know how to time travel, but maybe my friend Sam does. Carl, how you doing, man? Great, Sam. Hey, I got a quick question. Shoot. Do you know how to time travel? Excuse me? <laughs> time travel. You know, traveling through time. Um... I can't say that I do. Bummer, I don't either. Maybe it's impossible, but that's okay. Four out of five ain't bad, I guess. Not bad at all. Even though time travel will be super cool. Right, that's what I was thinking. I think I would travel back to when chocolate was first invented or when they made the first chicken nugget. <laughs> what a beautiful day that must have been. <sighs> beautiful day. What about you, Sam? What? If you could travel back in time at any moment, what would it be? When would it be? Good question. I think I'd like to go to some time in the Bible. Like to see something crazy cool. Like an angel. Yeah, seeing an angel would be pretty cool. It would. Believe it or not, an angel is actually a part of our story today. No way! Let's get started then. Alright. So a long, long time ago, there were two people named Mary and Joseph and they loved each other, and they were gonna get married. Okay, so my man Joseph is going to marry Mary. Got it. But one night, an angel appeared to Mary, and it took Mary by surprise. I can imagine. Not every day when you get to meet an angel. You're right about that. So the angel told Mary not to be afraid because he was a messenger from God, 
and that God was pleased with her. I bet that made her feel better. I bet so too. So what else did the angel tell her? Well, the angel said that she would be having a baby. That's awesome! But why did that news need to be delivered by an angel? It's because this baby wouldn't just be a normal baby. This baby would be named Jesus and would be the Son of God. Ah! She would be the mother of Jesus, the Savior, the Son of God! <laughs> Talk about impossible. Totally impossible. So she wasn't already having a baby, right? Nope. God performed a miracle so that she would be pregnant with a baby, and even more of a miracle that it would be the Son of God. <laughs> that is hard to believe, but I guess that's what makes it so great. God did the impossible. Yep. And God can do the same for you. What? No! <laughs> I don't think I want that, Sam. Please. Whoa. Calm down. What's wrong? Is God gonna make me pregnant? <laughs> No, I mean, God can also do the same thing for us that might seem impossible for humans, but definitely not impossible for God. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I totally changed my mind. If I could travel back in time, I would want to go back to that moment. Talk to Mary and Joseph. Get all excited with them that God was going to do amazing things through them. Yup. And now that you know the whole story, you can tell them, wait and see, God will do impossible things. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's Sam! Sam! Hold up! You just said her big idea. Today's big idea is wait and see, God will do impossible things. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three! Wait, wait and, and see, see, God will do impossible will do things! Impossible yeah! Things. <laughs> God will do impossible things. He's already done one. He's given me a brain. Hi, hey, Sam. Yeah? Want to try something impossible? Always. All right. We got to say the whole alphabet in less than one second. Ready? That does sound impossible, but I'm game. Go! <laughs> I think we did. We just did the impossible. Ha <laughs> ha! Woohoo! See you next week, kiddos. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.